been down in the Vagabal area the last couple days after I was up there at uh, Lower Bucks Lake. You've seen that video. Man, I can't wait to get back up in the mountains. I'm leaving again on Tuesday. Fish Bank with California Public Land Hunter. That's what's uh, up. Longtime friend of mine, Kevin Oss, he showed up. And uh, you might have seen him. We were hunting bears in November. We had a small little video. We've seen a bunch of tracks. So Kevin bought himself a brand new rod at Fisherman's Warehouse in Fairfield. What kind of rod is this? Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix, it's their Abyss series. Um, eight foot, so it's the Abyss 807. setup. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. A buddy of mine that does a bunch of derbies. Um, he's, he's out on boats and he's out on boats and fish from the shore and stuff. He, he swears by these rods. Um, and pen, pen reel. I mean that's the name in reels for me. Yeah. Um, I'm ready to get this one right now. First cast with a new pole out at Grizzly Island. Send it. Send it. Windier and out here, I thought it was going to be. So, what'd you just throw out there, anchovy? Or? Yeah, I'm back on the action bait, yeah. man. I've only ever used ghost shrimp, grass shrimp, and anchovies out here. And in fact, I've, I've only caught one keeper sturgeon out here. Oh, here we there go. you go. Let me get out of that way. Um, come on. No, nope, almost. I thought I had him. They're definitely hitting. Yeah, I've only caught one keeper sturgeon out here. Back when you could keep them when they were 72. I caught one 72 inches, tip to tail. It was 110 pounds. Do you still have a picture of that? I, I do on my phone. Yeah, I could actually. I could so I'm going to show you that sturgeon right now. <laughs> Yeah. I remember that sturgeon. You sent me a picture. I did, yep. That thing was like the whole length of the bed of your truck. Yeah, not this truck. It was my other truck, but it was. I mean, the truck's the same. It was it was head over here, tail all the way over there, man. I got to the water about 9.30, and I had third cast. I hooked up, fought him for about probably 40, 45 minutes. 45 minutes on he a ran, sturgeon. He, I got him into the bank. Three times he ran three times on the fourth time he just surfaced and was just a leviathan man and my buddy was there and he had a big net and he's like he threw the net back and he's calling for the snare he jumps in the water and freaking grabs this thing and they're calling for the snare and it, this thing I mean it was just I was tired the sturgeon was tired and it was it was interesting though because it was we got him up and it was dark man it was like you know almost 12 o'clock by that point and he goes um let me put this going. We were looking at the, the regs, and it was, it said, you know, the keeper is 72 inches. And, but the way it was worded back then, this was, this was like probably 15 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, the way it was worded was like, um, 72 inches is a keeper. But you could also be read as 72 inches, you gotta throw them back. And we had tape on him tip to tail and back then it was the tip of the end of the tail not the fork like it is now it was 72 inches on the freaking money and so the camp it. split down the middle and there became there became an argument and my and it was people were people had been camped out there for days and days and they were getting pissed you know that just some punk kid comes out throws 
three casts and comes up with a big old massive keeper and they were pissed throwing back and you know it's a, it's a keeper it's good my buddy looked at me and he goes and i didn't i didn't know half of these people but it was getting ugly and he goes he goes he goes man you got a decision to make you either need to throw that thing back in the water and keep fishing or get it in the back of your truck and get out of here <laughs> i'm like well I'm going home. <laughs> like, like, but it I'm, was a legal fish. Right? It was legal, yeah. but 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 yeah, but it was it was the, the there it was, was controversy just, it was on con the fish bank. Fish bank controversy. Yeah, and it was getting bad, man. And my buddy, he's like a third degree black belt trophies for all that, but that was a mob. It wasn't gonna matter. I was gonna get my ass kicked and my fish took. Right? You should have held it up with one arm and said, "This is my fish, and this is what I'm doing with it." <laughs> just take a bite right out of it. <laughs> Well, the bite's definitely on, man. People are hooping and hollering all over the place. We're getting hit. Uh -oh. I think I'm just gonna hold on to my pole for a little bit. Oh. Get him. So oh, man, uh, I really thought the camera was running. I caught this catfish. Check him out. He's a little guy, maybe about a pound. And uh, Kevin, he's gonna bring him home. Any striped bass or any catfish that we catch tonight, uh, he's gonna do a video on cooking them. He's got a YouTube channel called Culinary Therapy. Uh, he does a lot of home cooking and stuff like that, but he also does outdoor stuff, uh, fish when he catches them. He's a deer hunter a bear hunter and uh, any wild game that he does as well i'm going to be putting the video his videos on my channel when he cooks the wild game but uh he plans on the fish that we can uh catch today he's going to make uh fish tacos so you're going to want to check out his channel it's culinary therapy and if you scan that qr code right there with your camera app it'll open up my home page take you right there don't forget to like all the videos you like leave me comments on what you like and what you don't like subscribe don't forget to hit the notifications bell. Man, I'm going to ring that bell when I drop a new video. Ah, <laughs> uh, the shameless plugs. <laughs> this, the shameless fish bank plugs. Anyways, this bite is on and we're going to get back to fishing. Hopefully I can get the next one on video. It's attractive flies. This get that some, shit out of here. This man. is something that Kevin brought. I've never heard of this. It's called Magic Bait. America's favorite cat, catfish bait. It's great Scott liver and cheese. I swear to God, man. I'm fucking downwind. That shit sucks. That smells worse than a dirty doghouse, man. <laughs> smells like dog shit. It smells like a dog's ass. Man. That's some nasty stuff, man. So I'm going to put this on the hook. I'm going back out. I'm going to put two of these bad dogs on her. Sticking with action bait. Kevin got an anchovy out. I don't, oh, man, I don't even. I got this all over my fingers now. Oh, that's fucking gross. I can still smell it, man. Oh, it's horrible. In about an hour, we got a couple bites, but I took that dog shit off my uh, hook. Those <laughs> catfish nuggets. Those were a bust. I put the anchovy back on. Big. That's right, I'll just hold them up. Here. I'll 
Catfish number two. Man, I'm getting stunned. You want to tell about your YouTube channel, Kevin? Yeah, I do all kinds of cooking. Smoked meat in the house cooking. Um, breakfasts. I guess it's regular dad life stuff. Um, kids been wanting me to do something like that for years, and then when the COVID hit, it was just like the opportunity was there. But um, now we cook up all kinds of stuff. I got a couple playlists, I'm trying to fill out a condiments playlist. Um, got the 12 meats of Christmas um, playlist for when Christmas time comes but uh, it's, it's, it's fun it's goofy stuff the kids are always clowning on me but um, big fish well no He's fighting. got a flatter on there huh? Man, the way that pole's bending, looks pretty good. How's it feel? Small. Keeper. Ned and filmed it at the same time. Fucking A. Skunk is off the pole. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if he's a keeper or not. Yeah, he's a keeper. Got to be 18. Yeah, he's a keeper. That's a nice, that's a nice bass, Kevin. That's a nice bass. First bass on a brand new pole. That's definitely a keeper, man. Oh, yeah. Ain't no doubt about it. Oh, and I didn't get any of it on film. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you want that catfish back? <laughs> no, you take the catfish too. I know, I know, I know. Me too. Me too. Maybe When was the last time you were out here fishing, Kevin? He's, he's at least minimum 20 inch. Alright, let's tape him just to be safe. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. Come down to the end of the face. Okay. Yep. Right there. So maybe just short of 20. Yeah, but it's legal. It's legal. Skunk's off the pole. Go ahead and pull up with the catfish too. See the screen. Catfish, two catfish and a 20 inch striper so far. Excellent. Not done. Am 
My turn. I think I might have another catfish, though. So. What was that? That seems to be what my poles want to catch. Little striper. Nice. And he's not legal. <laughs> Get him, Kev. These stripers are definitely hitting this evening, man. We're fishing the high tide. Might be the last cast of the evening. The sun is setting. I have got about another 15, 20 minutes, maybe. Plenty of time to catch another couple, couple 20 inches. Hey folks, so that was my trip out there to Grizzly Island. I want to thank Kevin Oss for coming on out. Uh, boy, he caught that nice keeper. He's going to be taking those fish, that striped bass and those catfish. And he's going to be doing a cooking video. He's going to be making fish tacos out of them. So when he does that video, I'm going to go ahead and put it on, on this channel. And you guys could check it out too. Uh, if you look in the description box, I'm going to provide a link uh, to his YouTube channel. It's called Culinary Therapy. And also the rod and reel that he was using. Uh, the Phoenix of Best and the Pen Reel. I'm going to be listing, listing that also in the description box. And some gear you could check out. Well, that was an overall, that was a great uh, trip. Uh, I just want to take a real quick moment to thank a contributor to the channel. Uh, Ward S. He contributed to the channel. And I just want to say, hey, Ward, thanks a lot. It helped with the gas and the production of the video. And I really appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to make a contribution to the channel, you'll find a PayPal me link also in the description box. Also in the description box, you're going to find the GPS coordinates of where I fish today of referenced in both Google Maps and Google Earth. I want to say when you go out there, if you go out that far, you have to check in at the Department of Fishing Game Station. It's just real simple and quick. Uh, you do it yourself. You just write down your license plate number, the number of your party, and the time that you went in. Well, uh, my next videos, I'm going to be taking back off up to the mountains. I just came down here for Memorial Day for a couple days you know, to avoid the crowds up there. But I'm going to be heading back up and I'm going to be bringing you more hunting, fishing, and camping videos. So if you like this content, hit the like button and subscribe to the page. And we will see you next time on California Public Land Hunter. See ya.